What's up, people? What's up, people? It's your boy MM2K of PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, CGTV, MM2K Gaming. Uh, there's just so many. <laughs> I can't name them. I can't even think of them all right now. I'm back with a special video, and, and this video is addressing a lot of the hubbub in the gaming community over Redfall and Phil Spencer. We're going to try our best to try to break it down here and make it all make sense on why particularly PlayStation gamers seem to be all in a ruckus about this. I think a lot of people are misconstruing what's going on here for fanboy purposes. Hopefully we can all bring it to the center. All right. So basically, let me ask, are you a gamer who loves Xbox? If so, or are you interested in the platform or the things that are going on, you might want to grab a seat, get a snack too. Make sure you're sitting because we're going to be talking about the man behind the brand, which is Phil Spencer and why gamers are calling him out for what is being called lies and deception. Now it all starts from a recent interview Phil Spencer did where he claimed that Microsoft's acquisition of Bethesda in it, that they didn't take anything away from PlayStation that they quote unquote had, but hold on a minute. Did he just use the word had to mislead gamers? It seems like he was trying to make it sound like there was nothing taken from PlayStation that was planned or being worked on. But let's be clear. What he was actually saying is that there was nothing officially announced with a launch date that he had ordered to be stopped. But clear proof of this deception and for all argument purposes that something had been taken away when you look at it at full context of what people were thinking of when they talk about taking away. But clear proof of deception in this realm comes way of the developers of Redfall. And man, oh man, oh man, is, is Arcane probably getting read right now? Um, the developers at Arcane, again, the makers of Redfall, they even admitted that the game was being developed for PlayStation, but orders were given to cancel the development on the platform. Orders, not, oh, well, you know what, we're part of Xbox and we were working on this on our own. Let's stop this unilaterally no orders were given according to reports to cancel the development on the platform now i i have seen some playstation gamers cry because they wanted the game on playstation but 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 those those nut balls are far and few between playstation gamers that i come across in general in totality for the most part and i'm willing to even throw in there some xbox gamers too still think what has been shown a red fall looks planned i mean i get it there's been people that quote unquote got their hands on the game and some of them have said that the game is great and, and game of the year worthy and all this other stuff but for those of us who have yet to do that and we're going off of our optics and what we've seen it kind of is reminiscent of in those same previews that were released recently what PC Gamer and uh, who was it? Oh, man. Giant Bomb had to say where they said that A, the game looks dull and lifeless and B, it looks like it needs a lot more polish. That's what our eyes have been telling us. A lot of the people that have seen this and primarily a lot of PlayStation gamers where they looked at that game and they said, eh, now don't believe me and why I would even rope in some Xbox gamers because at the announcement of this gameplay trailer, this big 10 minute gameplay trailer that came out a few months ago, nobody talked about that game until this new preview, but they talked heavily about Hi-Fi Rush but nobody from the Xbox side did even wanted to talk about Redfall. So the proof is in the pudding. You can get mad at me all you want. 
the evidence is there. And, and I know a lot of you on the opposite side of this argument want to tell me who you're going to believe. Feel or your lying eyes. <laughs> this is not going to work here. All right. Um, now, again, a lot of people that have seen it still say that eh, it's, it's kind of meh. You know what I'm saying? So that puts it in a nutshell is what PlayStation gamers actually think of the game itself, opposed to the action around the game. All right. Play game, PlayStation gamers are instead miffed that Spencer is willing to lie or deceive to make Microsoft look like they care about gamers playing as many games everywhere. Like there's some game, like like there's some gaming uh, humanitarians out there, right? <laughs> and to help drive this point home, I love an analogy that's been put out there by my brother Porter Rock. 77 you know how we do let me show you something this is uh, a tweet from porter rock he's responded to somebody somebody on twitter is alluding that people are stupid and that they don't understand what phil spencer was saying in, in true honesty and from the bottom of his heart that phil spencer meant that he didn't place a toy in somebody's hand and snatched the toy violently that's what he meant porter rock kind of slap that <laughs> that nonsense away pretty effectively he says so let's say we worked for the same company our boss was going to promote you but you didn't know it but i did and i talked to our boss and made up some bs to convince him to promote me does that mean i didn't take your promotion because technically you didn't quote unquote have it <laughs> I think what it does is it drives home the point that taking something away doesn't require full possession of it. It doesn't have to be in a final state of something. Something can be taken away from you and, and share delivery. If there was an intent to give you something and you knew about that intent, or even if you didn't in Porter Rock's case, but here in PlayStation's case, they would have known about the intent. Redfall wouldn't have been, the, the development for Redfall wouldn't have started without PlayStation knowing, right? So in the act of the delivery, if something goes awry, when the delivery was attempted for you, that's still taken away. And that's the context that a lot of gamers took from what uh, Phil was trying to say, even though they still didn't buy it then but it was delivered in a way that Phil purposely intended to give that particular context. Even though you could refer back to it, use double speak and say, I meant had in the way of, it went gold for PlayStation, there was a delivery date, you know, or there was there was an, uh, uh, an announced date, a release date on PlayStation. That's what I meant as Phil Spencer. Even a huge Xbox supporter, even if you don't want to take it from me, a huge Xbox supporter and content creator, my brother, Doc Dark, 1985. I mean, and I, when I say huge, he's new to the scene. He's growing his numbers. I mean, they're 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 big as far as I'm concerned, and, but I mean huge because he is the of the best orators over Xbox content as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Even he had to admit that Xbox was being deceptive. But wait, despite that, some people are still saying that PlayStation gamers are just jealous and hypocrites for bringing up this issue now. You know, and, and they point to the fact that PlayStation gamers said that Redfall looked bad at first and now they're upset that it's coming to PlayStation. But the truth is, again, PlayStation gamers aren't interested in the game. They just don't want the practice of lying and being deceptive rewarded as it constantly is with Phil Spencer. And that's exactly what he's doing here. He's willing to deceive to make his company look like they care about gamers playing as many games everywhere. But the truth is Xbox and Microsoft are attempting the biggest buyout in video game history of Activision Blizzard. One so big that analysts have said it will completely change gaming in a way less favorable to PlayStation. 
And once the deal was announced, this is how big the announcement was or the probability of this deal is rather. It's so big that Sony immediately lost 20 billion in market revenue or market value, I'm sorry, just on the announcement of the deal. And I think when you look at that, that's why PlayStation gamers aren't mad but they're concerned i think they're worried that phil spencer has been caught playing semantics lying deceiving whatever you want to call it so much in the past will be allowed to flip the whole video game business industry and the whole structure on its head if microsoft is awarded to steal and many are concerned that if someone with that type of deceptive pedigree is allowed to change gaming drastically solely in favor of their and again make sure you're sitting down <laughs> xbox xbox lover but solely in the favor of the talentless husk of a gaming company whose owner simply has an exuberant amount of cash on hand if that's allowed by an entity such as that in the eyes of the playstation gamer what does that mean for gaming here on out? Some of you may say that's harsh, MM2K, but that's how they feel. Again, I'm just trying to bring this to the center and let you understand why they're so laser focused every time Phil has one of these moments where he says A, but Z actually happens or Z is what occurred. So start bringing this on home. No, PlayStation gamers at mass do not want Redfall. Do not take the few crybabies here or the one that you may see Pat not crybaby on the back say, yeah, I know where you're coming from. Don't, no, 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 they are not the norm. They do not even fear that Microsoft will outperform PlayStation even if this deal goes through. Instead, they are concerned of the ripple effects that continued allowance and actual praise and award given to the person responsible for this type of behavior does to their passion. Frankly, I gotta be honest with you, if you can't tell already, I agree on many points of that. I feel that there are more core gamers on that side looking for innovation and uh, an improvement on delivery of games. And when I say delivery, like what, what games can do for you and, and what type of environments they can make you feel that you're in, that's the type of stuff that, I, that we're all into. This is our platform is the hard knock digital culture where we focus on triple A game, hardcore game development. So yes, I, I'm sorry to admit, I, I side with the gamers that want to see those type of games flourish. All right. Over there, over at the other place though, <laughs> I don't see a lot of promotion of that. What I see is a bunch of, frankly, so-called gamers who frequent Twitter and hardly play any games. I'm not saying all of them, because there are those that do over there. They're just less likely. And the ones that do play games at a respectable juncture, they are waiting for them to come to Game Pass. And again, if you think all oh, that's too harsh and MM2K, how can you side with anybody that feels that way? You're a fanboy. What are you doing? You think that's too harsh and mean spirited? All you got to do, if you don't want to take it from me, is look at game sales, particularly multi plat ones this gen. See what sector or what side, whatever you want to call it, what faction is buying and playing games this gen versus the other. Instead of acting like they're at an old country and buffet oh let me try a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of, oh, oh, oh thank you game pass i think i've said all i needed to and that's it from your boy let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below because like i always say who cares what i think but if you did like what i had to say check out the links below the following those links will lead you to the broadband bullies pts network hard knock digital culture and yes here mm2k gaming with all that said i appreciate all y'all you have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.